Communication Review Superstitious Actors Now listen to the program. What is the main reason Jeffrey gives for superstition among actors? Choose the correct answer. And next tonight, I'll be talking to Jeffrey Steinhardt, theater critic for The Chronicle. Hello, and welcome to Backstage, Jeffrey. Thanks very much, Anna. It's good to be here. So you're going to tell us about superstitions in the acting profession. Some people say that it is one of the most superstitious professions in the world. Is that true? Well, clearly there are actors who aren't superstitious, but there are certainly a lot of superstitions connected to theaters all over the world. There are a few possible explanations for why this might be. The first, really, is historical. In the past, many of the people who criticized theaters and acting argued that playing a role, pretending to be another person, was wrong. So actors were looked down on in some societies, and I think that the more this happened, the more they felt cut off from society. Not surprisingly, they developed their own society or community— But obviously, actors move around, they travel, so the theater buildings become home, and the superstitions are the same wherever the theater is. I see. Can you give us some examples of superstitions in the theater? Well, cats are very welcome in theaters, especially black cats. There is clearly a practical reason for this. You don't want mice running around nibbling the costumes— But there's more to it than that. Some actors claim that it is bad luck to wear a costume unless a cat has slept on it. I remember one actor who would leave his costume out on a chair before the opening night, hoping a cat would fall asleep on it. Really? Absolutely. And some American theaters will raise the curtain and begin the play 13 minutes after the hour to make sure that they're lucky with the audience. Black cats? The number 13? Those are usually considered bad luck. That's right. I think it's another way of saying we're different. Right. And what about certain plays being considered unlucky? Could you tell us more about that? Ah, of course. Shakespeare's Macbeth. Many actors believe that it is bad luck to even say the name of the play in a theater building, so they call it the Scottish play, or sometimes just that play. (laughs) If an actor accidentally says Macbeth, he or she will leave the room immediately, go outside, and turn around three times to the right, then knock on the door and ask permission to come back in. This goes back to the first performance in London in 1606. That's interesting. Is that play still considered unlucky? Well, some think it is, but it has also done very well on Broadway. So those actors probably think it's lucky.